Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. Computer networking is a core aspect of IT and cybersecurity. You need a strong foundation in networking to do well in cybersecurity. In this video, I will take you through the network basics. At the end, you should have a better understanding of how network really works. You should be able to tell more about things like router, switch, firewall, gateway, IP address, subnet, DHCP, VPN, DMZ, and many more. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get started. We will use a hypothetical New York-based company to explain how a network functions. Let's say the company has three employees that needed to work collaboratively in a physical space. So, the company rented a small office space in New York City and set up a network that the employees connect to, either with hardware or wireless. The devices can exchange frames through the network switch. A network switch connects network devices like computers, printers, and access points together to enable exchange of frames within the local network. Each device connected to the network, whether via wire or wireless, has two unique identifiers on its interface, the MAC address and IP address. MAC address stands for Medium Access Control Address. It is a unique physical address assigned to each network interface and is used to identify the device interface within its local network and to exchange frames within the local network. The MAC address is assigned by the manufacturer during production before you even buy the devices. Example is something like this. On the other hand, IP address stands for Internet Protocol Address. This is a network layer protocol used by devices to communicate across network boundaries, including the Internet. This is an example. To exchange frames within this local network in New York office, this is all that is needed. But the employees also need to connect from their computers and cell phones to external services on the internet. Things like Google, banking websites and other websites. That's where a router is required. A router is a device that connects two or more networks to each other. In this case, the router connects the local area network, also called LAN, to the internet. The router in this scenario is also the default gateway to the internet and other networks. For the computers and cell phones to connect to the internet, each of them needs an IP address. You can manually assign static IP address to the PCs and cell phones, but by default, they are set to automatically acquire IP parameters using a protocol called DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This is a protocol used by client devices like PCs or cell phones to automatically acquire IP address and other related configurations from a DHCP server. In this case, the DHCP server is the router, so the router issues the IP parameters to the local devices. Meanwhile, this is the same network topology you use in most of your home networks. You may say, no, I don't have three devices in my home network. That is a switch, a router, an access point. I have only one router supplied by my internet provider. Yes, you are right. It's because the single router installed in your home by your internet provider also includes the functionalities of a switch and access point. Back to the New York office network topology. For the employees to be able to access the internet, NAT needs to be configured on the router because the IP assigned to the PCs and cell phones are private addresses and they cannot be used on the internet. The private IPs need to be translated to public IP to be able to communicate on the internet. Network address translation, NAT, is a method of mapping one address space to another. In this case, we need to map the LAN subnetwork, also called subnet, from 192.168.2.0/24 to the public IP address configured on the outside interface of the router, which is 1.2.3.4 in our example. 
Connecting the local network to the internet also exposes the local devices to potential attack from the internet. So, the office admin decided to install a network firewall between the router and the switch to protect the local network. Since this is a small office and the router does not have a huge routing table, the firewall can handle all the routing functionalities, so the router can be eliminated. This will also save costs for the company. The company also has a non-critical internal app they are planning to host in the cloud. But in the meantime, the internal app is running on the internal servers in a separate subnet as shown in this updated network topology. There is also option to implement VLAN, but we are not doing that here. It happens that the company opened another office in London and London users need to access the internal app in New York office. To achieve this, a site-to-site -site VPN was created over the internet between New York and London office firewalls. A virtual private network, VPN, is used to establish private communication between networks, mostly over an untrusted network like the internet. The company also wants to test this non-critical internal app from the internet. To make this happen, the company implemented a DMZ subnet off of the firewall. The militarized zone, DMZ, is a perimeter network sitting between a trusted and untrusted network that protects and adds extra layer of security to the internal network from an untrusted network like the internet. So, when the tester wants to connect to the internal app hosted on the internal server subnet, the traffic is inspected by the firewall and then forwarded to the DMZ server. Then the DMZ server initiates another communication towards the internal app through the firewall. Direct access to the internal app is not allowed from the internet. Instead, the communication has to go through the DMZ. This standard design adds an additional layer of security to the internal app. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you are interested in learning more about the latest cloud architecture model, call Secure Access Service Edge, SASE. Watch this next video.